So I'm going to take you over to this Phalaenopsis now that we know where to collect the pollen from. And I'm basically just going to... So again, we're going to take the pollen and place it in between those two red dots, right in there. But we're going to do it on a different orchid, completely different plant. Okay, so what we're looking at is the pollen. It's on the white plate. Um, I always put it on the white plate because if it was to fall, then it would be gone. And if it's a rare orchid, you don't want to lose the pollen before you even get started. So we're going to go with the toothpick with the black tip on it again. And what we're going to do is just dig the pollen out gently and place it onto the black tip of the toothpick. Okay, so this next part, um, what we did was we took the pollen out of the nose cone and I have it just stuck to the top of the black toothpick there. So you can see what the pollen looks like from the Phalaenopsis orchid. And what we're going to do is take that pollen and we're going to place it in the stigma of another Phalaenopsis orchid. So I just thought I'd show you this clip really quick again. Remember, um, our target area is between the two red dots on this orchid. Now the white orchid we're going to pollinate doesn't have those red dots, but this little clip is a good reminder of where our target area is going to be. Okay, and from there we're just going to take the pollen and place it up and under, just like so. And I have just placed it in the stigma there. So that should now be pollinated. I don't know if we can um, get a look in there at it. You can see off to the left side, it has been pollinated there. Another thing that may help you just to find it is remove the pollen from the um, orchid that you're going to be pollinating like so. It just makes it a little bit cleaner to, um, to go in. So you can see there's the pollen from that orchid I just pollinated. It's right there. So you can see the little yellow spot now where the pollen is on this white flower, so it's easy to see. Alright guys, so one last thing I want to show you before we go is the orchid on the right has not been pollinated and if you look at the orchid on the left it was pollinated about three days ago you can notice how the the area where we got the pollen from is now swollen a little and the petals are actually starting to deteriorate they're starting to get a little bit clearer and that fa uh, flower is starting to fade a little bit what's going to happen is at the back of the flower that is where the ovaries are and that is where your seed pod is going to form Well guys, and that is how we pollinate a Phalaenopsis orchid. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. There's one last look at where the pollen goes between the two red dots.